the vote is unanimous. <laughs> Dame Fina Kupa told us, Takina wa tato tamariki, Takina nga mea karanguna, nga mea kakitea, nga mea kapangi. Ko te tupu o nga tamariki te rano te tupu o Aotearoa. Take care of our children, take care of what they hear, take care of what they see, take care of what they feel. For how the children grow, so will be the shape of Aotearoa. 72% of our whānau tamariki and rangatahi are Māori. Today I support this vote to ensure that our tamariki hear, see and feel that their voices matter at this table. All of our tamariki, <coughs> Māori, Pākehā, Tarara and every other culture who share this beautiful district with us. <laughs> Diversity, inclusion and cultural recognition isn't about so-called special privilege or racial bias. It's about showing our tamariki what is right and that the decolonisation the re indigenization and a tetiriti centric far north will go far towards Kotahitanga and bringing us together. Yeah. 40 of our cousin councils around the Motu have reaffirmed their commitment to Māori. Yeah. I'm a hitu you all, and I share my aroha to those in Kaipara district and Upper Hutt City who are unable to get enough support to go to polls. Kia kaha e huama. At the time the legislation was put to the House. I signed a letter alongside 51 other local government leaders to call out the unfairness that sees only a Māori ward put through the requirements of a poll. None of our other three general wards in the far north or our 13 community board subdivisions have this mechanism. It's only for our Māori ward. We were called activist mayors in Parliament, and this will now be pre preserved forever and all time in Hansen. <laughs> so I told my co-activists, if being labelled an activist means we stand up for something we know is unfair, let's own it, and I made us t-shirts too. <laughs> <laughs> to my fellow activist leaders, I am it to you all. Central government has trust issues. They keep telling us that we need to listen to our people. Heck, we are. They don't trust us to make decisions on behalf of our communities, be it representation, safest feeds, or affordable spending. Well, I don't trust central government when it comes to localism and listening to our people and making decisions on their behalf. 10,000 submissions were received on this racist legislation, 8,000 in support. There were no changes to the bill. In fact, are doubling down and forcing us to have an extraordinary council meeting for this vote today. We are told by central government that we need to save money. And yet here we are being forced to, have to waste money on a meeting. Do you know how much money we're all on? What a waste of money. <laughs> Could be doing better work. If this, if this motion succeeds, it's going to cost $10,000 for a binding poll. Over half a million dollars will be wasted by our councils across this motu on these forced polls. Finally, I speak to thank you, our iwi, hapu and whānau partners for the support shown to this council. <coughs> Through the COVID pandemic, to Cyclone Gabriel, and whenever we are in need, you are always there alongside this council to serve the communities of the far north. All of our northerners benefit from your mahi, so I thank you, and today I reaffirm our commitment to meaningful and trusted partnership. <laughs> our late Kingi Tu Heitia said, Ta paratia te mahina te pūrangi te māneanea. Let your light shine, let it shine bright to make the darkness fade away. Today we have an opportunity to shine a light here in the far north, to uphold Te Tiriti o Waitangi and let our tamariki hear, see and feel that they met at this table. Tēnā koutou kā.